College football, week 11, winning cures everything, top 10. I don't think a lot changed this week. Nah. So it's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. You can find more information on all six of their sports books over at tunicatravel.com. You can figure out all of our stuff, podcast, YouTube, our picks, previews, whatever else, over at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump in. Uh, we'll start at number 10. Um, and then once we get done with this, because well, we're, we're going to... Hang on. Not a lot changed. I, I kind of have a lot of movement in mind. Uh, towards the end, I would imagine. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. Um, My but but we'll, like, we'll still kind of fly through this. And then I want to bring up like 11 through 25. Sure. Not that we have, but just talk about like what in the hell is going on here. Okay. You know? Um, so let's uh, let's start with number ten. Uh, I'll give mine first. Number ten, I got Central Florida. My number ten is Ohio State. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's reasonable. I think they had a good win, and uh, not a great win, but but they deserve to be in the top ten with the way they played this week and looking at their resume as opposed to everybody else. UCF did not cover this week, um, but you know they were playing Navy. Do uh, you think that because Notre Dame didn't blow out Navy either, and and oh, hundred percent. Teams do not run up the they score. They just don't run up the score. But here's the thing: like we, like we, the national media like really dings Notre Dame because well, you didn't you didn't blow them out, but other teams have. Like, come on, man. I I think it depends on what national media you're looking at. Like a lot of people understand like, the committee. Navy Navy is going to well, no. The committee kept Notre Dame at number three. Like they were, you know. But that's one of the reasons they're not two is because. Well, well, the they reason do. they're not two is because Clemson was just housing people, and and they used eye test for whatever reason. Okay, now I would we'll like get, to we'll see what to it that. is this week. Yeah, we'll get to that because we'll Notre that. Dame with a backup quarterback housed the same Florida yeah. State team that Clemson just because I don't because I don't knock Central Florida for not. I mean, they handily won the game, and they yeah, just, I mean, they, they well, just they won by what eleven? Yeah, like but it, they but they like they it was controlled never the game from the entire time the game was. Yeah, going. it was it was never in doubt. Uh, number nine, West Virginia. Number nine, West Virginia. Okay. So we both see that. I I made a point to, I, before we even started my my ranking. I said I'm West Virginia's going in this thing. How bad is TCU right now? I it, Gary Patterson's got to wear this. I mean, that's my I guy. Mean, I've, I have I have ride with rode with him for a long time. Like obviously he's not in any danger. No, right God, now. Like no. and he's got a backup quarterback right now. But even when they had the starting quarterback Sean Robinson, they still. I, I just uh, don't. Man, that's a bad. I, I'm kind of curious as to why it's happening. Like, it, and and what's crazy is he's got the most talented roster that he has ever had there, stars wise. Stars wise. Stars wise. But he's pretty like, good at taking guys that were two stars and three stars and making them beat your five stars. But but why can't you take guys that are three and four stars and like because um, maybe coach they were, them up? Maybe they were overrated to begin with. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Okay? I mean, I don't. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Number eight. I've got Ohio State here. Okay. Uh, look, a, a win over a, a top 15, 16 team in the country at their place, beat them by three touchdowns, you know, and while things did not go exactly right early, like they were only up 9-6 to six after the third quarter, like they dominated that fourth quarter. Their special teams was perfect, like – I think they are they are getting ready for this Michigan game, and I would still pick Michigan to win the game, but it well, would that's why not. Got su- Michigan ranked higher than it them. would not surprise me in the slightest if they upset Michigan. And well, upset. Give, you think you think Ohio State's going to be fav- not favored in that game? I think Michigan will be favored. In that I think game. it'll be a pick 'em. Well, I'm curious to see what it'll be when we get there. I am curious. While, while you're giving me your number eight, I'm so, going to look up so the, my uh, number the Sagarin eight, because that, and, that's a good and indicator. I, and I wrote it all down, and then I kind of thought about it. My number eight should be my number ten, and everybody else should be bumped up. I still have LSU in the top ten. They literally just gave up garbage time touchdowns. Like they went into Arkansas and they blew out Arkansas, and then they well, you actually it. moved LSU back into your well, top no, ten this week. Yeah, they, you no, didn't they even were, have them. No, last I had week. them out last week, and 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 for some reason I had them eight, mainly just because I think man, their only two losses are to that road game to Florida and then to Alabama. And other than that, they've kind of handled everybody that they needed to handle. And a seven point win against Arkansas. You by the way, this Michigan Ohio State thing, you are a hundred percent right. Uh it, it would be a pick 'em. Pick because em, it, yeah. Michigan on a neutral field, Michigan would be favored by uh, two or three. About three. Okay. Like it'd be three point two points. I've been gambling for a long time, man. I know how this so, works. So <laughs> yeah, it'd be three point two points. <laughs> yep. And because of a home field advantage, which is rated at 
two oh. points. Yeah. Where's it? It's like two point seven five or something. Say, like that. It's less so than so Michigan points. might be favored by half a point. Yeah, maybe on the road in Columbus. Can I but, tell you? Can I tell you what I love? What I love, love, love. Before the season started, I never do this ever. I had Michigan plus seven on a look ahead line before the season started. I could, I've done and that. I am, and I, but I don't, I, I never do the look ahead stuff because I'm like, oh, what if a quarterback, like a million things could happen. This is the last game of the season. A million things could happen. But if you don't put wrong. like a whole lot of money on it, like, but it's, you know, it's well, I got kind of a little bit, but, but here's my, here's my, my reasoning. I, I kind of thought there was going to be an Urban Meyer when he was suspended, didn't really know what was going on, like fake heart attack, kind of monkey. You know? Like I was like, maybe Urban Meyer's not coaching this season. Like I don't know what's going to happen. But I, I wonder if Ohio State would have been better off with that. I I get because Ryan Day was like on no he was fire. he was well. I get Michigan plus seven before the season starts. I as long as as long as Patterson doesn't go down, I think I'm I think I'm okay. Yeah, anyway. no, you're right. Uh, you're right. But I have LSU eight. They they should be ten. So let's just pretend I had them at ten. Ohio State at nine and West Virginia seven or eight. Yeah, yeah, eight. Whatever. That's it. Um, and then from here on, I think we might have the exact nope. same. No? Nope. Oh, you're right. I forgot about Okay. Yeah. Uh, number you... seven, I've got Washington State. Yeah. My number seven is UCF. That's where you have them at 10. I think that they, listen, I, I made it clear. All the teams that play no defense and just high-powered offenses, they can hang with those teams. The resume is no different, no worse than them other than the fact that they're undefeated and all those teams have a loss, and they can score with anybody in the country. So your number six is Washington is State. Washington State. Now, did you see the interview with Leach after the ball game yesterday? No doubt I saw so, that. I so watched they destroyed. it 20 other times on YouTube. <laughs> they they destroyed Colorado 31-7, to um, and then Minshew comes up and puts the mustache on him, and he's like, there's other guys on the team that got mustaches too. Like yeah. I, I don't this know ain't why just they're... for him. Like, why are they just now popular? <laughs> I love that man. I, I I wish so bad that he would just get a job closer to where I lived. That's all I want in my life. <laughs> I think everybody in the country would think that. Well, I don't like know. Pullman is so far away it's, from the rest no, of like it, the it, world. It is so far away. Even if it was like if he coached in, I know that Washington State people have, but like even if he coached in Washington, like I can get a flight from Memphis to Washington. Yeah, like to Seattle. Yeah, to Seattle. Yeah, um, but but you can't get a flight to Pullman. No, you got to go through Spokane, and then it's like a two hour drive. From yeah, there, then I got to yeah, then I got to rent a vehicle, and it's got to probably be an off road vehicle because I'm sure it's not like straight highway in Washington mountain country. I mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know the region. He he makes uh, he makes them interesting. So and before you're that, six. he was in Lubbock. Like I'm not going to Lubbock. Yeah, what no, the hell? Nobody's going to Lubbock, which makes what Cliff Kingsbury is doing, by the way. That much better. Correct. Like it, he, it, we deserve to talk about, or well, he deserves us talking about him, the media talking about him, and not trashing him. Just like get him off the hot seat. Yes. He's doing well. He's doing fine there. He's got a third string quarterback. He's still holding in these games. Like it, they're they're probably going to go to a bowl game this year. Leave leave the man alone. Yeah, he's fine. I got you. Number six, I got Oklahoma. Um, and I think that might just be because like they've always just been there. Like they're winning games like they're supposed to. They've only got one loss and whatever. And I'm going to let you talk about Oklahoma and completely and... out of my top ten. They all these people, all these people saying they're one of the two or three teams in the country that could hang with Alabama or maybe give them a loss. Please get off my lawn. Get get off my lawn. Overtime to beat Army. It took all they had to beat a five loss Texas Tech team. It took a missed two-point conversion to beat a five-loss Oklahoma State team. You, you're a 20-point favorite against all of these teams. You go down to the wire, but for some reason, people think they can hang with Bama. They could give Bama a problem. <laughs> really? Are you, are you kidding me? You play no defense whatsoever. Bama's going to make you punt. you got a great offense. Unbelievable. It'd be pretty high scoring. A Bama will score every drive they have against that garbage defense. Every yeah. single drive. In touchdowns, too. Like, we're not kicking field goals here, all right? In, in Oklahoma, absolutely going to punt against that Bama defense. Multiple times, over and over and over again. It, it, just please stop. Because of how poor they have looked against mediocre teams, Yeah, you don't get in my top ten. You just don't. That's totally reasonable. You left LSU out. 
I've got LSU in over them. LSU's offense is garbage, but LSU's defense would give you run, and LSU's offense would look unbelievable playing up against that garbage defense. I think you're probably right. Uh, who you got number six? One of my number six team is Washington State. Oh, Washington State. State. You yeah. already said that. You already said that. Number five. Um, now we're getting to where we probably are identical all I think the way. we're identical. Um, uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Um, I'm going to guess two and three are probably flipped. Uh, number, oh, yeah, that's right. Number five, I got Georgia. I got Georgia, too, and I kind of wanted to make an argument for Georgia at four. I mean, I think Georgia's good. I think they're really good. Th- their only loss is that game where you went down to Death Valley and, and you played an, an LSU team that was – Coming off of a loss, well, and it and it snowballed on him, right? He yeah. he made he made a bad decision with the fake field goal. Yep, and and it just snowballed on him. He he got completely like, Georgia LSU got, got momentum. completely out of their offensive game plan, got totally yeah. away from the run, and and you just can't do that. You can't become one dimensional against LSU. No, cannot do it. Cannot do it. All right, so Georgia at five, they're at twenty seven to ten win over Auburn. That's a pretty good win. Yeah, they, that's, uh, that's they they handed them it was, a butt with it. It was tough early. They probably could have named their score at that point. Uh, number four, Michigan, forty two to seven over Rutgers. Um you know, yeah, you, you can't you, 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 you can't just learn anything against Rutgers. Yeah, you just show up and, and do what you gotta do. But that's a, this is a win. great Michigan team. We didn't learn anything new this week. Uh number three, I've got Notre Dame. So I, I still have Clemson. Okay. And I'm not Clemson and, and hasn't done anything to change my mind. And, and the reason is, is Notre Dame hadn't done anything to change my mind. And their resume is better than Clemson's. Yeah. It I can, just I is. can understand it. I, look, I can totally understand. I feel like on a neutral field that Clemson would beat Notre Dame. But, I mean, it could go either way. I, but here's the good thing about this is we're going to see them two play. and three. Like, we, we'll probably see them play. Here's, so here, but here's the reason that you can't and say. And I say probably, but. Yeah. Here's the reason you can't say, well, they're two and three, so it doesn't matter where they rank. It absolutely matters where they rank because if somebody does something great on the back end, okay, and you're three, then you get bumped down to four and you have to play Bama or, or whatnot. And or you can get bounced out of this completely if you're three, but if you have a slip up at two, you might be able to stay in. Like there, there is a reason to want to need not to want, but to need to be at two and not three. Yeah, I mean, that I, makes I, sense. I think there is. I think uh, I think you're probably right. Uh, Notre Dame with a big game coming up against Syracuse. Uh, we'll we'll see what they do with Syracuse as compared to what Clemson did. That's right. Uh, Clemson got them at home. Notre Dame gets them in Yankee Stadium. Uh, so number two, Clemson for me. Uh, you got Notre Dame too. Number one, Alabama. No, no, no question. Uh, I don't think any anybody's questioning that they now injuries are becoming a bit of an issue, but we'll worry about that when we get there. Uh, so eleven through twenty five, the playoff committee's rankings had Il- Kentucky eleven. They lost. Uh, NC State fourteen. They lost. Uh, Mississippi State 16, they lost but to Alabama, but that does give State four losses now. BC lost at 17, that gives them three losses. Michigan State at 18, that gives them four, four losses. losses. Uh, let's see, Penn State, uh, Iowa lost at 21, uh, that gives them four losses. Correct. They lost three in a row now. Uh, Fresno State at 23, they lost. And Auburn at 24 lost. That gives them four losses. Who is going to be in this thing? I don't know. I mean, you, you got so so in the Massey composite. I, I'll you had, tell you this: I don't think Auburn falls far. Getting beat up by a top five team doesn't. I don't. I don't think it doesn't. I don't think you. State falls far either. State shouldn't fall far. BC getting, probably shouldn't fall far because they. they but here's the deal: like they didn't is, have far to go. Well, well, but BC was at number seventeen. Yeah, and and they were I right think, behind Mississippi State. I so, think but the question stay is in the top twenty five. I I wonder if they do, depending on what we find out about. Didn't Anthony matter. Brown. Didn't ma- see. You shouldn't. No, say, it does matter if because the guys the team, hurt. I can't put them in the top twenty-five. They're still in the top twenty. They've still earned the right to be in the top twenty-five. Are they a top twenty-five week. team without him though? But doesn't, that's not that's not what the purpose of this thing is. That's not yeah. what the purpose of this thing is. If Tua got hit by a bus tomorrow, Alabama is still number one because of what they've done, not what we think they can do this point forward. I mean, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I, I see where you I, have to grade them on what from. their resume is, not what we think they'll be. That's not okay because anything yeah, but, can but, happen when we play these games. But one of the factors of their thing is eye test. That's stupid. So, either but, way, hey, but, but we, eye test is what has. Right, if you want to use eye test, you have to use eye test of what you've seen, 
Not no, no your eye test, test of what you're projecting. Your eye test of what you have seen with Boston College is they put up zero offensive points okay. against Clemson. Yes, and Clemson's but a really good team. So but that, that's they, against one of the best defense, if not the best defense in the in in, in the uh, college football. No, you're right. Uh, I think Fresno State is taken out. I do too. And I think Utah State takes their place. Yep, I completely agree with that. That's that's exactly so. Nothing really changes there. You just take one team and bump them out. So at at that point, um, let's see. South Carolina lost. NC State. Uh, will NC they State, will they still be in it because of the committee? What do you project? What do you think? You think the committee just loves the ACC enough? They've got enough political pull to say, well, they've only got three losses, so we got to keep them in, right? Well, I think Look at the, all these four. The lost issue teams. is they've got all these other teams that have lost so much. Um, I That's think they probably keep them in, but they'll be like twenty three, twenty four. But we we agree, like they don't belong. No, they don't belong. I mean, there's literally forty teams beneath them that would be. So does does A and M find a way to get back in? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. Does Army get in at at eight and two? UAB at, at I, nine I, and one. Hang on. I do think you put Army and UAB in because of their resume and what they've done, and all these other teams are getting beat all the time. I think uh, I think Cincinnati deserves to be in. Duke is sitting at seven and three. They could find a way in yeah, there. They, I think um, they need to be in. Buffalo is sitting at nine and one now. Yeah. So Buffalo could find a way in that there. That Temple loss to Buffalo doesn't look so bad. Uh, Texas Tech is at five and five. App State is at seven and two. Yeah, you can't. You I can't mean, put any of those teams in. See, Arizona State's got four losses. They're six and four. Like Virginia, maybe jumps back in at seven and three. Maybe. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Pitt's got four losses, but they look like one of the best teams, like one of the top twenty-five teams. Oh, but I've I've been saying the same thing about Temple too. Like, I know they got four losses, and they'll probably never see the top twenty-five, but. Damn, it's kind of hard to watch the way they play right now, watch the way Pitt plays right now, and say they don't belong in this top 25. Yeah, it's – it. I mean, this is a strange year. Strange year, man. Cause it's, it, not, it's not 07 strange, but it's it's breaking out to be a weird year. It's – yeah, because you, you got 07 like – 07 was weird you from got the top 1 10. to 25. Yeah, you got the top 10, and then – The top 5 is pretty solid. And, and then, then everything that, else yeah. is just what in the world is going on here. I wish Wazoo could do something to get in. Well, I guess they would need chaos. They would They would need – Are you talking about to get in the playoff? Yeah, they would need Georgia oh, to lose to Georgia Tech but still beat Alabama. Like, that. Like we would need something weird like that. Yeah, I mean, it'd have to be crazy. Yeah. I mean, you would, you would need – and, and then you would need, I don't know, Michigan – you'd need Northwestern to win the Big Ten. You would need Pitt to win the ACC. But hey, if those two things happen, you got to put Wazoo in. Yeah, like you end up with UCF and Wazoo in this damn thing. Nothing would make me happier in all of the world because we know who the champ is. We know who the best team in football is. Yeah. That that's that's that debate is over. So so let's just make this thing fun. Um, that's gonna wrap up our top ten. <laughs> <laughs> go to tunicatravel.com. Go to winningcureseverything.com. That is the Winning Cures Everything College Football Week 11 Top 10.